Hey guys, welcome back to us in Not Included. My name is Twitchy and we are in the LV426, a colony of asteroids out in the very, very wilds of space. We have got three asteroids open at the moment and our boy Random Random that's here has just spent some time traveling from one rock to the other inside an asteroid. I've realized he's just going to go do something here that I don't want him to do. Okay, beautiful. Inside this rocket, trying to make some science for us. The reason that I tell you this is because I still want to do a bunch of science. We have recently unlocked the science that does the yellow. I could go into more detail on that, but I think you just need to know we can do the yellow now. So looking up and down, you can see there are a whole bunch of sciences that I wish to do, and we can stockpile the blue and the purple from the bases, but the yellow we need to do in orbit. So I am going to let my boy Randomers here adjust to a new world. Yes, indeed. Well, it's not a new world. He's been here before. This is Yakil our original asteroid. This is where we landed and where we have all our water coming from. Over here we have Tiranu. This is the place where plastic and uh, uh, and oil come from. A little bit of magma but we've not tapped into that quite yet. So something else that I want to do to uh, aid the research is our friend Arat here. He joined the colony a little while ago and he's just kind of been over here poised and ready to go for some rocketry. Unfortunately that's not what we want him for. If we come into the skills he has a little bit of morale on the go. I'm going to give him some advanced research Researching so that you can help help over here on the research. We've got two little research centers on Taranu and Yakil. I believe right now we should look at this. The all systems are go over here. What we're going to do is we're going to build up as many of the, uh, as the purples as I say and try and try and have a whole stack to do before we send randomers back home and, and move on with what we're actually going to do on today's episode. Also, as we've got our dirty water line open at the moment because we're trying to deal with the police looted germs here. No germs at the moment. We have solved the issue. Uh, I'm going to take a moment to put this ladder down and we can probably go and get this uh, copper and granite and stuff like that that we've got at the top here and put it over in our uh, solid storage area over here. There's just so much tidying up going on this place. So obviously we've still got randomers going around doing a little bit of research over here. And on Turanu we have Arat doing the same. But uh, uh, other than a little bit of casual farming that's going on, almost everyone is going around and just moving things into these little dumpsters here. I've... I think it might take a solid thousand uh, cycles to actually be able to get our bases tidied up. Wow. Hmm, small problems. Uh, the temperature up here is about minus six, minus ten. That's not great for pumping water through. So I'm going to get some insulated pipes. We're going to make it out of igneous rock. It's not the obvious choice. And we're just going to replace all these. I mean, obviously, we could warm this place up. But, I mean, work, right? That's, that's work. <laughs> Okay, you convinced me. I've set up a space heater and we're going to set a little bit of automation up to it so we don't end up cooking this area. Because you could, I, I could just like leave this and it would melt itself. I don't know if it would actually melt itself, but that would be interesting. I, mean, I suppose technically it's a self-regulating system if it gets up to a certain temperature and then melts. I mean, that's, that's almost a fuse. Okay, we're mostly done here. I want to make sure that I've got most of them uh, filled up and with only the yellow left to go. This one I'm intentionally leaving because there's a lot to go there. There's a lot to go. Uh, this is good. This one's just a green. Yeah, it looks like we are ready to go. Which order are we going to do these in? I have no idea. Uh, game's paused because it's on super speed. Let's bring it down. And I want to go have a look inside the rocket first because I think, I think this might be a bit of a problem. Not just that there's stuff here and there's a mask laying on the floor and the uh, briar buff is uh, having a bit of a trouble. Uh, should we check the temperature? It's warm. It, it, it's a bit warm in here. I mean, that, that's something to worry about. But also, let's have a look at the gas overlay. Uh, if we come down to gas, there's... Well, we've got polluted oxygen. I mean, that's not too bad, but the carbon dioxide is really starting. There's like a oh, thousand grams down here. I really feel like the temperature is the biggest problem, though. Oh, we unfortunately do not have enough ice to make temperature shift plates either. Hmm. Oh, we do have an ice maker though. I've never used it before. I think we, but like this, this, this is not the way to cool your rockets. If, if if you want my advice, guys, rip it down and start again. But we're gonna try something crazy. Okay, having a look. Let's see where we got. Ooh, that's warming up over there. But we got some cold down here, so I'm gonna come into my utilities and we're gonna have a look at the ice maker here. We're gonna pop it down. Uh, looks like here. I lied. It's there. Uh, unreachable dig. Why? Is it because they're asleep? Is it is it because they're asleep? I mean, it says unreachable dig, but Bishop is on it. Okay. Uh, he's suited, he's booted, he's climbing down the ladder, and is he going to be actually like, I don't know, dig this block out? Is that the problem? I don't know what the problem is. Yeah, the, the, everything's fine. 
Yeah, I knew that we'd need to be putting some power in it, but what about water? Where are we getting the water from for it? It doesn't really matter. I'm not that bothered. Ooh, wrong button. I'm not that bothered about where it comes from as long as it comes from somewhere. We used iron in this conductive wire. I feel shamed. Well, we're going to use copper for as much as we can. Let's also like redo this and try and get some of this iron back because we need the iron back. And random is straight on turning the iron into steel. Well, no, he's making more iron ore, but he'll be turning that into steel at some point. We're not short of anything, are we? No, no, literally iron is the choke. Oh, I probably should have done this right next to the rocket. That that would have been smarter, like a lot smarter. Maybe we'll move it, move it if this uh, proves to work or fails in the one very specific way that I'm thinking that it might fail. <laughs> Maybe we should have built it up here. There's the minus numbers. Kind of positive down here. Whoops. <laughs> oh, so it just does it on its own. It doesn't. It doesn't need duplicate input. Okay, that's that's cool. So we got water in there. Oh, it's being cooled down as we're watching it. That's. Oh, I've never used this before. I don't know. I, I did mention that, but I've never used this before. This is cool. I mean, we need we need a better cooling system for it. But you know, cool. I wonder how good the conversion rate. Like we're making 16 kilo DTUs per second. How much are we taking away from the water? Is it 16 kilo DTUs per second or is there a little bit of like machine use there? I don't know if 30 kilograms is enough for what I want to do. <laughs> no, I need 800. Oh well. Well, this guy's going well. It's been about maybe a cycle, maybe half a cycle, somewhere between those. We've made ourselves a little bit of ice. 32.7. How have we made 32? Anyway, we've made a little bit of ice. If we come up to the top here, though, I want to scale it up a little bit. I've put all the copper that we own into this building here, and as we're digging up some more on the way, I've got a feeling this is going to become even bigger. Uh, we might still have some overheat problems because there's not an awful lot of oxygen around here, so we're going to trap a little bit in the box. Uh, let's actually put a door down and then hopefully the, the the overwhelming cold here will replace the insulated tile for some uh some i don't know some obsidian tile some gold tile something with a high transfer uh, heat transference um number we'll put the <laughs> whatever i mean well we'll make the wall there and uh it will take all the heat from there pump it out to whatever gas is out here and that will vent into space and it should hopefully just keep it nice and cool especially as everything's like minus 40 out here as shown by my carbon dioxide freezing in the pipes again. Oh, we got a fair bit done before nighttime was cooled. Wait, 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 wait. Hicks is now so happy he wants to hand out balloons. I've just been making him dig in the vacuum of space. What is this? I think it's a shame you have to have your duplicates go and deliver the water. I've got a water line right here. Right here. We can make what's what I call a little sink, a little hole with a pitcher pump on top of it and a, and a vent underneath, a liquid vent underneath. But uh, I, I think it would freeze. Look, minus, minus lots. <laughs> oh, wait, that would also make ice, wouldn't it? Okay, we have enough for the first one. Oh, okay, this is such a silly idea, but let's go and do it anyway. We're going to go inside the rocket here. We're going to observe the crushing and overbearing heat in here. We're going to come down. We're going to pick up 800 kilograms of water. And we're going to put it in, in the form of ice. Yeah, I'm sure this will be fine. <gasps> oh, they've they've changed. Oh, oh, they've changed it. Look, if we go inside the rocket and then we click on Bishop, it takes us outside of the map and takes him takes us to him. It didn't used to do that. What about on the way back in? It does it on the way back in as well. Amazing, just yeah, amazing. <laughs> they're not they're not moving much ice at a time. <laughs> so the water is flowing. It's not getting all that cold though. The igneous rock rock in here isn't really transferring very well, and the rest is like abyssalite, and it's got a thermal conductivity of zero. <laughs> Okay, that's 800 kilos. In comes Hicks, putting down a temperature shift plate, plate made of ice. Let's watch the temperature overlay here and see what happens to it. I'm expecting the, the shift plate to warm up very quick. Look at that. Oh, all right, beautiful. I'm about it. I'm about it. It's displaced a, a load of gases up. I'm just wondering whether it's going to draw the temperature out of this. Maybe not. Well, now we've got to sweep this. Is this where we find out it's too much water? As, fu as funny as that would have been. So I've got a feeling to condition this place properly, we're gonna need to clear the area out. This gas canister filler is huge. Uh, to get a pump down, uh, we also need to do something like take the uh, take the generator away. Yeah, it's go it's gonna be a serious job. What do you mean starvation too? What? Oh no, we're all right. Oh, oh, it was the people on Taranu. They were complaining, but they've got plants. They've also got a way of cooking them into a, a nicer food. The layout must just be bad. They, they seem to eat well enough. It just, I don't know, they take too long getting to the food. 
Ah, oh, now that totally wasn't supposed to happen, but it is chilling down. 16 degree ice here. It's going to get much colder. Only 40 grams, but uh, I'm sure it'll sure it'll work at some point. That's because it's touching up here, right? Yeah. <laughs> this place is starting to warm up as well. Nice. So we're basically transferring heat from well, tra transferring cold. We're, we're literally bottling cold here. Uh, that that that's pretty cool. We're transferring it from the base to in the rocket. Oh, we still not, we're not ready yet. Oh, so close, 733 out of 800. Ah, oh, wonderful, just ticked over. I'm gonna put it next to this because it seems to be the hot thing. I'm not sure what temperature it's at. It's uh, 27, that's not too bad. We're looking down at like 13s and 20s. We're gonna chill this down to just above freezing, I think, hopefully. Uh, and then we'll send randomers back. That will be like conditioning and achieve. The next one will be trying to get the gas out. That, that's gonna be even more work. But I'm fairly sure at some point I mentioned this whole research thing that we're supposed to be doing. Oh look, is the water Water inside here just freezing out. No. What's going Oh, carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is just doing its thing here, right? Yeah. And yet, still liquid water. Is he taking the carbon. Where are you going? Oh, it's actually just ice. But what's it been made out of? I don't know. Overheat damage? What? Well, that happened quick. Well, I think, I think we're going to build some normal ones. <laughs> Sedimentary rock, thermally reactive, sounds great. Let's use that because we've got these little temperature shift plates above that are quite nicely staying very chill. So we'll try and transfer some temperatures around like that. Okay, the building is going on minus 18.7. We've lost like a degree and a, a degree point two out of the temperatures here, but that's pretty good. This should instantly melt. Oh no, it's not instantly melted. Is that too cold? It might be too cold. Well, it's definitely brought the temperature down. Okay, turns out 21 grams of oxygen, not the winner. What have we got kicking around out here? 500 grams? Let's try and let some of that through, shall we? I've got to just pop an airflow tile underneath it. Oh, it broke already. Uh, I'm going to disable auto repair until we figure out what's going on. Well, I suppose now that we've cooled all of this down, we can disable all the buildings. All of them. I'm going to leave this here in case we ever need to actually make proper ice again. Okay, so random randomers currently in the toilet. I'm going to pause the game at this point. We're coming over to the Helios. There's some water here. There is a bit of uh, plastic in the filter. Uh, we can do that. There, uh, we can do the orbital microlab. The generator is good. Okay, I see no reason why to not send random randomers back home. Let's try. We've got to, of course, do the research as we were saying. So, uh, crew, beautiful. We need to change our destination. We're going home. Uh, we're, we're just waiting for the pilot. We're just waiting for the pilot. I'm wondering whether he's going to be coming with us. Hopefully, hopefully he's also eaten. That was probably something that I should have let him do. Let's, let's have a look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, Looks like he has indeed eaten. I'm wondering whether the follow cam is going to take us inside. Let's find out. We're going to watch random randomers get inside. I've got a feeling it's just going to... Well, that that's that's a little bit of a shame. Uh, may, maybe we need to put a bug report in for that. Did he did he make it? Where is he? Oh, there he is. He's asleep on top of the ladder. Okay, interesting. Well, um, I know the pilots asleep inside right now, but I see no reason not to hit the begin launch sequence button. All right, good good luck, random randomers. I hope you have the best of fun. I'm gonna quickly check this and click the computing first because I think that oh off he goes. That well, that was quick. And away he goes. Sleep it. No, no, you've got you've got stuff. We gotta we gotta turn this off as well. We had this last time. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, Random is doing his flight. Let's have a look at the star map quick. Away he goes. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. The flight is going underway. I'm gonna, I'm gonna clear all those little symbols off there for the moment. Can we? You do have. Hmm. Why, why are you not? Waiting plastic. Random is his next. He's uh, gonna do the actual research before he does the supplying. Interesting. Okay, well, you can reach from up there, so that, that's great. That's amazing. So now the game plan is just to watch him. The moment research comes in, we click the button again, and we go to the next one up. I mean, obviously, we need some art. Is it the most important, though? No, it's not. The most important is our durable life support. I want to be able to send more people to space at once, and randomers is going to help that happen. Why is his... Oh, look at that. Man, I thought that was random as hell for a moment there. We landed. We landed already? No, we can't do it. We're just in the middle of nowhere. That's that's why the background changed. Okay. Doing another flight. Okay, that's another one down. Oh, this is this is gonna be great. We're gonna get so many of these done in one go. I'm not I'm not even gonna be able to keep up with the stuff to do. Small petroleum engine, hey? Mm. I wish there was a way of just kind of replacing the outside tile with an airflow tile or something and just letting all the carbon dioxide fill out. 
Oh, I should have brought some oxy fern seeds. That's how we could have kept this area clean. I'm not sure where we would have fit it, but it, it, it could have. Okay, another research down. Oh, beautiful caffeination. Yes, we need some tea slash coffee. Oh, it doesn't look like we're on the star map. Okay, we gotta stop, we gotta stop. Uh, Helios has landed. We didn't do all the research, but am I that bothered by how much has been done so far? No, I got all the important ones. We got the valve miniaturization, we got the rocket stuff, and we did the computing as well. It's a bit of a shame that we didn't get the caffeine, but uh, that's 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 just life, right? That's just life. Okay, we got we gotta we gotta let randomers out of here. We do that by click. Oh, oh, we're not landed yet. Any moment now. Ser seriously, where where is he? Come on, let's let's do this. Let's do this. It says it says you're here. Where you be? It says we're grounded. I can't. Is it a bit weird? Is it, is it being a bit weird? Oh. Oh, D dear Clay. Dear Clay, sorry. Game game be messed up. Everybody in and out. Alright, let's let's just let, let a bit uh, Beautiful. Off he goes. Um why? Oh, because you need to fix it. Okay, that, that that's cool. You're taking the gas canister to be fixed over there. Alright, sweet. It's a good one. It's a good one. And we got all that research done. Alright, alright. We need we need to put some more tables down. Well, the extra one is just in case, but we can't. We can't have our boys and girls just sitting around outside to eat. No. So I've let some extra atmosphere in here. It's still kind of tenuous. 50 grams is not a lot. Hopefully we can pump some more. Let's, let's, let's quickly have a look. Do we do we pressurize this place? I think I'm going to pressurize this place. One moment. Okay, aside from a few niceties, the Hicks is on right now, plugging up the, all the gaps in this. I think we've got ourselves a little bit of a situation where we're getting some more oxygen in here. Uh, the the ice should hopefully help deal with it. And we're also going to make uh, the, the wall over here a little bit more obsidian so that we can uh, transfer some temperatures back and forth. So that's should work out quite well for us. As I say, we've got some ice. There is one more thing we need to deal with. Doesn't this look like it's getting very close to overfilling? Now, this should be relatively easy to fix, but I've said that a few times and it's gone terribly wrong in my face. I'm going to get two hydro sensors, one here and one here. We're then also... What did I just make those out of? Copper, copper. Okay, we're making sure I'm not using up steel here. Inside the automation, we've just researched the memory toggle. And what am I going to make it out of? I'm going to make it out of cobble. Now, this memory latch here, it's got three... Well, two inputs and an output. Three, three nodes there of some description. This is a set. This will turn the node on, I believe. Uh, this will output the on. Then when this second second one gets hit, it will reset it back to an off. Therefore, well, it should hopefully turn this liquid shutoff valve on and off. And we're going to send the water down to the scrubbing plant over here. As you can see, this uh, water sieve set up. One of the wonderful things about it is if you put clean water inside, it will just pass it through. So uh, at no point will we have any problems here unless, unless this... Uh, salt water gets in there. I might need to put a filter on it, but I might just take it on the chin and repair the repair the sieve. Not an ideal way of working, but I, I think it will be fine. I think it will be fine. Okay, let's have a look. Liquid pipe here. Where are we trying to get to? It's all the way down here. We could probably, though, hook onto this line. Yeah, yeah, that, that goes in. This is coming from our scrubbing unit. Takes any water with any germs in it, exposes it to chlorine in the background, which I presume we're still uh, swimming in. It is. And then this germ sensor here does very much similar to what this uh, latch is doing over here. When the germ sensor picks up uh, no germs, it turns this uh, shutoff valve on and the water gets dumped out. We're gonna do the same over here. Okay, power, pipes, and automation all set up, hopefully, to do the right thing. I'm sure I've got one set of automation the wrong way or something like that. We'll, we'll just have to wait and see. Now, you might be mi mildly horrified, much like myself, that we're using steel for the um, automation wires here. But don't worry, don't worry. I have set up uh, an order for t uh, ten, well, a ton of copper ore to be turned into copper. So uh, w when the whole job gets finished, I will be sure to turn those into copper rather than wasting our precious, precious heat-resistant heat steel. Okay, automation signal is kind of in place. Uh, so both of these will always show a signal if oh wow look at that this has only got 37 i was going to say if below let's uh let's go to the zeros it's if above okay and i'm going to put another zero here okay so i'm going to set them both to red and we're going to watch the output of this toggle down the bottom here you see the memory output is currently green uh that's because the last thing that happened was this turned on as if the water had filled up now imagine that the uh the 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 liquid shut-off valve down here was uh, emptying out. We got rid of that 37 kilograms, and it went below. This would then turn this off, 
And then when this one, I want it to say when the water empties out below it. So we'll say a uh, signal below. So the water will drain down and then we'll hit the zero, essentially flipping the state. And that turns this back to a green. Beautiful. All right, so let's say that if above zero, send a green signal. Great. And this, if below zero, send a green signal. That should be the automation to work it. If only people would come along and build this stuff. Come on, guys. Well, having watched this for a few cycles now, I think I can ju can juice. Oh, turns out that was a bit of a hard one for me to say. That this is a self-perpetuating system. So we're still just draining all the water out. But we've got this biome up here just slowly melting its way down and uh, adding some more water. But we've also got the sludge presses over here. This one turning mud into dirt. Uh, and of course, the water gets put in on top there. Uh, a small observation. It's definitely going to empty out all the polluted water before it gets to the actual water. But that, that's fine, right? That's no problem there. Uh, yeah, it's working really, really well. We've got a... We were backed up, but it's, uh, it's it's cleaning through now. The problem that we have got is overnight we've run out of power. We've got to wait for the daytime to come in. I am tempted to throw a little battery up there. If we're lucky, the power in that battery will sustain us overnight. But as you can see, now that we've got some power, it is filling up. We broke the loop momentarily, but I, I, I did a little cut here and did a branch line and it all ended up working wonderfully. And with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys uh, next time, where maybe we'll actually get around to finding out this radiation. It is the, the key to the next set of technologies, so I definitely need to think about it. <laughs> but I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.